Hello, this is James George with Creative Bacon, and today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D wireframe text. And so this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, first, start out with uh, normal text. Um, I chose Myriad Pro Bold. Um, and we are going to change the color to a medium gray. I think the, uh, the shadows show up better that way. If you make it black, it just looks really glossy. It's hard to tell. It can hinder your vision. Um, and so once, once you have your text set up how you want and you have it set to gray, you're going to go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel. And so from here, uh, you can choose different parameters. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Preview so you can see what's going on. And so there's your text, like it is. And you can manipulate it however you want. And so you can add different angles to it and really make it look interesting. And so we have this 3D text here. All I did was up the perspective and that, what that does is it sort of contorts it in that direction. And um, normally I wouldn't make it uh, such a deep extreme depth but um, it will kind of help with the effect so that you can see this. And so uh, all you have to do to create 3D wireframe text in Adobe Illustrator is um, where it says surface instead of plastic shading you go to wireframe. And it creates a wireframe effect. And so if you're happy with the results, you click OK. And let's say that you wanted to change the color to this. Well, you know, it's really not that hard. All you have to do is just go to Object, Expand Appearance. And so this becomes uh, editable. We'll go over and we will change the stroke to, let's say, a blue color. And you can position it however you want to on your canvas. And it's completely editable. Now if you want to and go back and uh, change this, or let's say that this stroke is just too thick for you. Just go up here to stroke, and you can make it a thinner stroke. And so it becomes a little more, you know, a little thinner and, you know, a little more precise, uh, like you would find in, in a drafting or a, or a CAD drawing. And that's pretty much it. And so in a matter of seconds, you've created uh, 3D wireframe text. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.